Hello and welcome. I'm Robert Hansson, one of the guides here in Chonayok. I'm here to talk about grayling fishing and especially what flies we use here. We receive many questions about that when people book for the first time. Uh, so I just want to show you a little bit of my, my favorite flies for this, uh, for this river. We already did a video from Amanas about the grayling fishing we do there with Jerome, uh, one of the guides we have there. Uh, so he shows his setup. He uses both a dry fly rod and a nymph rod there. For Shonirk, I think you're fine with just a, just a nine foot around there, five weight. I think that will be a really good rod to bring here. But uh, how he sets it up with the leaders and stuff, it's exactly the same that we do in this river. So check that out, I will leave uh, suggestion for the next video will be that in the end of this video. So let's talk about the flies. This is one uh, CDC and Harris ear caddis. It's a size 14 fly that I use a lot in this river. Uh, so on the topic of caddis which is plenty here, um, I made one with pure just CDC. This is in a size 8. Quite a big visible thing. It can be uh, some really huge caddis here sometimes and it also works great as an indicator. So something like a stimulator or a big uh, caddis fly like this can be really good to have. What can be somewhat like a small caddis maybe or whatever, a small midge is an F fly. Truly belongs here in my top selection of best flies. Can make them all the way to tiny sizes. Sometimes I even do like a not a dry dropper rig, but a dry dry rig. So I have a bigger dry fly and then a small piece of tippet. And then in the hook bend that I put then a tiny, tiny F fly. Because sometimes they can be massive midge hatches in this stream. And they totally only go for the midgets and then eat them in big numbers. So some small midgets can be really good to have. When we come to mayflies, I have some adult ones. This one is uh, straight from my fly box, so it's a little bit muffled, <laughs> but uh, it's um, with quite lightly dressed with some hackle and a very thin body. It's not gonna float as well. It's a more realistic mayfly that, uh, that I like to fish in a little bit calmer parts of the river. This one is, uh, it is a clink hammer and just not any clink hammer. It's a one with a huge orange wing. I, I can tell you why this is such a favorite among the guests. It's because around this river uh, there are only birch trees and they're really not uh, growing that tall. Except if you have the sun in your back then you will be able to see well but otherwise it's gonna be a lot of glare and it's quite difficult to see the dry flies. So to have something like this with a big post that is visible it's really nice to have. On the same topic as clean camera, here is a more realistic uh, mayfly emerger, quite a small size. I tie these in several sizes, but I really like to fish the slower parts of, of the streams. And there is something more realistic like this with CDC and uh, deer hair can be a nice option to have. Do not forget, there is some Swedish classics. Uh, among that is the Ismo Puppa. It's a wooden body and I covered it with some UV resin. This will never sink. <laughs> and it's actually a really good fly for grayling. Super weird, uh, but uh, really cool fly actually. I really enjoyed fishing this. When we go over to nymphs, uh, a classic uh, Harris ear nymph, of course. Cannot forget to mention that. Pheasant tail nymph, of course, another classic with some peacock colored uh, eye stubbing in front. These are both quite heavy nymphs. This color of nymph is a really go-to for me, probably my favorite. It's like a red tag, some CDC in the front, sort of like Euro nymphing style nymph, but with a, tied on a normal hook. Works really good. Red tag is also a classic when it comes to dry flies. I didn't have it here, couldn't mention it. Couldn't mention a ton of flies. And here is like a purple and gray nymph as well. This is on a true jig hook. You definitely not, don't need to tie them on jig hooks or anything. You can tie your nymphs on standard nymph hooks. Uh, this is just a color I really like for this river. 
also here in the shop that we have there is plenty of flies i think we have about up to can it be up to 80 different kinds of dry flies and nymphs here so there is plenty to choose from and it's very difficult to say point out a fly that aha this dry fly is not going to work for the grayling here because they're very optimistic summer is short and they have to feed so they're really not really not scared to to take uh, most dry flies but of course some work better than others and these are my favorites.